Hey guys, Becky here, 52 Baker. Welcome back to my channel. So I've gotten a lot of questions regarding rose banners and what it is that I recommend for you to buy. And it all kind of depends on your needs. So I have three different rose banners that I use these three right here. I got them each from Amazon. They're no more than about $15. And I love each of them, but each one also has a quirk that I dislike. So I wanted to talk that through and give you a better idea of what might work for you. I'm 100% pro veiner. I think they make a world of difference and I love it. I love the realistic flowers. So I'm excited about this. <laughs> So starting with the largest one, which is a little over three by three inches. My pet peeve with this one is that the veining is not very natural in my opinion, and it's super prominent. The overall shape is nice. The size is wonderful. The hollow bottom is really nice too. And then the top and bottom meet perfectly so that's really nice you could just give it a nice little press down and you don't have to worry about anything for the middle veiner it's about two and a half by two and a half inches so it's an all right size I wish it was a little bigger but this works well for most the vein is gorgeous, although there is a bump there in the middle that always cuts through my flower paste if I'm not careful. And the center vein is very prominent, so that can also split your petal in half. But as long as you're careful, it's super gorgeous. The veins are deep, but they're beautiful. They're more natural looking in my opinion. I love all of the shape that it has. Aside from the weird bump that cuts, my biggest pet peeve here is that it does not close. So when you're doing a really large petal, you have to cup it in order for the petal to catch all the veins on the top and the bottom of the veiner. And then the smallest one is about two and a half by two inches. It, in my opinion, has the most natural vein. The shape is wonderful. My only complaint with this one is that it's so small. It's too small for most of the roses that I make. I still use it for my smaller roses because I absolutely love the vein. And it closes wonderfully. My only complaint is its size. It's too small for, for most of my flowers. Now I'll go ahead and show you how it is that they vein on fresh flower paste. So for the largest veiner, you really don't have to press that hard. Like I said, the veining on this is super prominent. So if you press too hard, it will cut right through it. You just give it with one hand, gentle press and you'll see that it catches all the veining. I'll show you a little closer. That is super prominent. But I still use this one anyway, even though it's super prominent because I love how big it is. The large size is so helpful. So all I do is I'll rub it off with my fingers just a bit not super convenient but if i if i'm feeling up for it that's what i'll do and then it softens it a bit and when you put it together all in a rose it's not as noticeable that there are some spots that are deeper than others so i still use it i keep it now this is probably my favorite vein i love it so much even though this probably has the most quirks Now this is not a super large petal, so I can get away with just pressing it down lightly down the center. And you see it catches the vein really well.
you'll notice though, there was that one little spot that always gets my petals if I'm not careful. It got this one, but the veining is gorgeous. Like I said, I think this is my favorite. I can deal with the quirks for how pretty that vein is. And this is the smallest one. I still use it a lot with small roses um, or little wild roses. Nothing that has to get too big. This one I can press down hard because it's so subtle and it'll be fine. And there it goes. It's subtle, but it's gorgeous. This is definitely good for a close up. And now I'm going to show you them all dried to see if it changes the appearance at all. Spoiler alert, it does not. So this is the largest veiner. I didn't smooth any of the veins out so you could see what it's like just naturally. And it is super pronounced. I'm not a fan of it. I would only use it if you smooth it out. This is the second one. I still love it. I think it's so pretty. And then the last one, as you can see, it's really subtle. You have to look closely to see the vein, but I think it's gorgeous and I think it's super natural. All right, guys, so hopefully you found that helpful. If there's a veiner that you like from the list, I hope you go ahead and purchase it and share the roses that you make using that veiner. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and like this video if you thought it was helpful. And I will see you for the next flower video.